Hello, everyone. This is Austin from Raw Bliss. My hair is like so flat lately. I think that's what happens when you don't spend like seven days outside. <laughs> it's funny, I spent like seven days in nature, like 10 to 12 hours a day in nature. And now I'm like spending 10 hours a day inside because of this freaking lockdown. So stupid. I've been trying to get out as much as I can, though, um, on the down low. You know, don't tell anybody. So, you know, I'm, I'm only going out for essentials, you know, walking to the store, buying food, buying durian. Durian is essential. Okay. Today is my uh, 26th birthday. So, uh, yeah, I went out and I found a durian. I was like, you know, in my mind, I was like, okay, I'm going to manifesting, manifesting a durian. It's going to be there. Okay. And I made it happen. Made it happen. I had to update my visa. Um, so I had to drop off my passport um, to my visa agent's house. It's $100 a month now to stay in this freaking country. Kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I had a pretty good birthday so far. It's about like 5 p.m. now. Um, yeah, I had some rambutans, amazing rambutans that I found last night. And uh, stocked up on some really nice sweet coconuts with the young jelly that I like a lot. The nice fresh coconuts, super fresh, young, super sweet jelly still. Very good. On point. So I had some rambutans, had some durian, had a bunch of delicious cucumbers. I've been on a cucumber kick lately. These salty cucumbers. They have this, this new variety here. It's amazing. Dark skin, salty, crunchy. Everything you could want in a cucumber, so good. I could go on and on. I mean, I'm just, I'm just in love with them, in love with cucumbers. But uh, yeah, I had a good day. Um, today, I wanted to talk about something, you know, that I see a lot um, in the raw community, and something that I've noticed myself doing at times as well, and. Um, you know, I'm all about accountability and uh, being transparent with you guys and being open and raw in this, uh, my healing journey. You know, I've been on YouTube for three years. I haven't, um, you know, I've changed a lot and um, that's okay. Like, it's okay to change. You don't have to be so set in your ways. Like, you know, consistency is important, but it's also important to be open-minded that you might be wrong. Okay, it's okay to be wrong. Yeah, so I've been wrong a lot in my life, and I think it takes a lot of courage to admit that you're wrong, especially to thousands of people um, like you guys that help me stay accountable. And that's why I'm really grateful for this platform because it's helped me along my journey and staying accountable and staying raw as well. So I encourage people who are starting on a raw diet um, to get on social media and share uh, share what they're eating like daily and sharing their lives and just, just keeping it real. You know, there's so many fake people on the internet these days and I just can't stand it. I just, you can just tell when you look at their, their freaking uh, their page. Uh, I can just, I could just, uh, it just makes me cringe, man. You know, they're just so fake with their, with their fake smiles and their, their fake promotions and That's why I don't get many sales because <laughs> I don't, I don't push my products that much, but, um, yeah, thriving as a fruitarian, new ebook, check it out. Link in the bio, link in the, link in the description. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about this because, uh, um, yeah, four minutes into the video, I think I'll get to the topic though, eventually. Yeah. So, you know, when I first got into juicing, I thought juicing was freaking the panacea. I thought juicing was everything and it could, you know, it was, it was life, you know, and, um, the reality is juicing is not a lifestyle. Juicing is not something, I mean, it can be, let me take that. Let me take that back. It's not, um, it's not the end goal for a frugivorous species. Okay. We are humans. Humans 
are frugivorous animals. We have 32 uh, feet of intestines, right? We don't have short little 12 feet intestines that carnivores have, right? Right? There's a reason we have long intestine. So we can get all the, the fruits in there, you know, and fill it up real nice. Uh, absorb all the nutrients all over. So yeah, when I first got into juicing, um, you know, I, I would juice fast and incredibly healing. Like I talked about before, I talked about a lot, you know, I've done over 200 days of juicing, but I think people can get lost in this, um, uh, you know, this energy and also adrenaline. Um, you know, a lot of these, uh, high sugar juices, you know, if you, if you drink that fast, it's, it gives you an adrenaline rush. It definitely does. And it's, you know, I'd say it's addictive. I'd say it's addictive. Um, you know, you can get addicted to juicing for sure. And, um, you know, I see people that have no perceived, uh, disorders or disease or, you know, health conditions, uh, within the body. And they continue to do these prolonged juice fasts or, um, you know, there's people who are, they're like, oh, I'm transitioning to liquidarian. That's the next step. And then after liquidarian, I could be a breatharian. Okay, bro. Okay. It's, it's a good thing you got that 32 foot long intestine, right? So you can, so you can digest all those liquids and the, the air, you know? <laughs> breatharians, man. Take, just get your colon removed while you're at it, you know? Oh, God, it's so crazy, the world we live in, man. So crazy. Uh, yeah, so I see this a lot. And it's just this obsession with purity. You know, and, uh, you know, it can, it can get, it can get dangerous. Like, like, honestly, this obsession, this uh, disorder, you know, purity disorder, uh, eating disorder. It is an eating disorder. You know, if you have to constantly fast, you're never going to create a healthy relationship with the food you eat. Like, you cannot run away from your relationship with food, with chewing food consciously, having delicious, amazing experiences with food without stimulation. Um, you know, I think juicing kind of gets you away from that a bit. You know, you're still getting your nutrition in, but you're not using the body the way it was designed to be. So I think it'll take a while for the gut microbiome to get back to normal. And I think this can cause a lot of confusion too, because people will go on the prolonged juice fast and then they'll go back to eating food, you know, after a hundred days or something after, even after a month of juicing, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard to transition back to food. It takes a little while. And then, you know, people will have trouble with the transition and it'll be like, Oh, I'm not cleansed yet. I got to go back to the juices when in reality, you just have to, strengthen your microbiome your your gut microbiome is not strengthened because you're not giving it enough fiber and that's what your gut runs on that's what your body is happiest with is a high fiber high hydration high sugar diet okay and that's what i advocate for i think juicing is a great short-term transition to raw a short-term it can be a lifestyle, like I, like I was saying. It can be a lifestyle if you are not fully raw. If you're not fully raw, like a juice in the morning is amazing, a green juice in the morning, that's going to get you tons of energy in a small, easily absorbable, assimilatable, um, like perfect, like right into your blood, you know, all the nutrients you need. And that can be helpful for people because, you know, you can't, 
eat like 10 carrots, for example, for breakfast, but you can slam like 12 ounces of carrot juice, no problem. And, uh, you know, that's great. Carrots are medicine. They were actually designed as medicine when they first were uh, cultivated or whatever. So that's really interesting. That's why Steve Jobs was so obsessed with carrots. He'd go on freaking carrot diets. <sighs> what a weirdo, right? Drink a bunch of carrot juice. But, um, yeah, so I just think it's it's really important to give your body time to adjust after a juice fast. Um, give your microbiome what it needs and give it the proper time to adjust, to get used to that fiber, that plant fiber that is so necessary for our, um, our thrival on this, um, in this body. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it over and over again. And, you know, I've had those thoughts like, Oh, I could just, maybe if I jump back on a juice fast, it's like, wait, why? Why? Like I had to check myself because I was like, why do I want to do that? Like, is it like an ego thing? Like, oh my God, I'm so clean. I'm so cleaner than that guy. You know, I'm so cleaner than that guy. I, I went 500 days on juices, dude. I'm like, I mean, that's cool, I guess. But like, if you're clean after a hundred days, then what's the, like, why go longer? You know what I'm saying? It depends, you know, some people have a strong constitution, some people have a weak constitution, some people have to go longer, some people get more benefit in the short term. And, uh, you know, I've only done, you know, my longest fast was 55 days. I've, I've done multiple, I've, you know, eight, 10 different juice fasts. I probably did like a couple a year since I've gone raw. Um, on average, don't really remember, uh, but you know, it's, I, I just want to get back to the natural way. And I think, I think more people should try to do that. Like we are fruitarians, you know, you see a lot of people talk in the raw community about getting back to nature's way. And then they juice like every single day and they have no health problems. It's like, uh, two plus two equals fish, right? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, come on guys, let's get with the times. Uh, so yeah, I, I want to make this clear too, because, you know, you can heal absolutely on a raw food, whole food, plant-based diet. And I think people who stick with that long-term are going to have the best health overall. If you juice, you're going to have to still introduce the fiber later on. Okay, so I think juicing is amazing. You know, have a juice here and there, have a juice every day, whatever. But that's not going to be the base of your diet. You need lots of fiber, lots of fiber. The more fiber, the better. You're going to be super happy, I swear. I swear to you guys. Like plant fiber is amazing, high carb, high fat. I like the high, like moderate fats. I wouldn't say like high fat. I like moderate fats because I notice when I'm on super low fats, my nervous system is like, bloop, 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 bloop. it's all over the freaking place. I get black circles under my eye, you know, and my adrenals are shot and I can't sleep very well. So, uh, for me, I like moderate fats, 15, 20%. Today I had durian and the meat of, or the jelly of two coconuts. You know, I had like a three kilo durian. Um, and that's like pretty typical for me. I'll have jelly, I'll have coconut jelly every single day. Um, but that's not, that's not too high in fat. You know, it's only like 10% fat. It's not much at all. Uh, but anyways, that's just me. So I think that's it for this video. Uh, I think the main takeaway is eat more fruits and vegetables, whole foods. Okay. If juicing helps you get more fruits and vegetables into your life that you're otherwise not consuming, do that. If you need to make a green smoothie, do that. Okay. Any way you can get more fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables into your life, the better. Okay. If you're already eating mostly fruits and vegetables, this is, this is kind of like where this video is more geared towards. Okay. Keep that in mind.
this isn't geared towards people like who who don't eat a raw food diet okay if you don't eat a raw food diet absolutely get on the juices get on the green smoothie in the morning you know whatever helps you but if you're on if you're on a fruit and vegetable diet and you don't have any uh disease disorders what are you cleansing what are you healing from okay get on the fruits and vegetables this is the natural way this is the way god intended it to be i don't i don't understand why more people don't advocate for this like <laughs> uh, yes juicing's cool i love it but it's it's just like it's like cooked food like why do you need to cook it some people are like uh, oh, that watermelon looks great. I would love to juice that. It's like, what? Why can't you just enjoy eating a freaking watermelon, man? Like, come on. Come on. Oh, man. It kind of it bugs me sometimes. Like, why? Every time, like, oh, that'd be good in a juice. It's it, like, how is that different? Like, oh, that'd be good if I fried it up with some garlic, you know? I'm not saying it's, like, exactly the same. It's not. But it's processed food. Why do you got to process it if it's good the way God made it? Okay, I understand if you're, you know, if you got maybe not the best produce, you juice it up, it increases the nutrient value, you get more nutrients in your body. That's okay. That's amazing. Anyways, this is just my my ramblings. If you guys vibe with what I'm saying, comment down below. I had a really good day. I hope you guys did it as well. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Check out my website, roblessfruitarian.com. I put up I put up a page with uh, my fruit photos, like a bunch of fruit from uh, my travels, and then I also put up a travel page with some pictures from India, Sumatra, and Bali. I'll be adding more to that soon, but um, I'm really I'm really liking um, adding that stuff to the website. I got blog posts. I've been posting my blogs. Um, and if you guys made it to the end of the video, post a, uh, post a mango emoji down below so I know it's real. I miss mango season, man. See you guys. Peace and love.